to the 15th Annual Pre-Law Symposium here at Western Illinois University. It is my pleasure to welcome our alumni back. Everybody that's going to be speaking tonight will be somebody that's associated with Western Illinois University who is either in law school or graduating from law school. To the students who are looking at law school following their graduation from Western Illinois University, I wish you the best of luck in your journey. To our alumni and friends, thank you for returning to your alma mater to share your journey and words of wisdom. I think my defining moment was I took two con law classes here at Western and doing the case briefs and reading the cases and thinking about the legal reasoning and that was those were the two classes that I enjoyed the most out of my entire time here, so that really made it to Once I came to Western, I took a few con law classes with Dr. Hardy, and I think that kind of sent me more down the path of that that's what I want to do. I was good at that, I enjoyed it. So. Today she is universally recognized as one of the nation's top immigration attorneys. And uh, she has, through her indomitable spirit and giving, selfless giving to other people, she has accumulated many, many awards. It would take me all night to read those. <laughs> but among other things, she's been inducted to the Ohio Women's Hall of Fame. So please give a warm welcome, if you will, to our distinguished guest, Margaret W. Walsh. so nice to come home. Western Illinois made me. When I came, I was a young nobody. Cecilia and I came with like $100 um, for a suitcase. And Western Illinois gave us a full scholarship, tuition waivers, our end positions, and we hardly even speak English. Now I spoke back and I said, how did they know that we'll become who we are today? And I want to thank you so much. And that's important. One day when you are all rich and famous, remember to come back and get back. We are a very, very small town, and the nice weather is really bad. But we need to get together, and, and it's a, just a great place to become who we want to be when we grow up. But the jobs will come. Enjoy what you have. Like I look at my kids now, they're 29 and 30, and they always say, Mom, I don't know what I want to do. Oh, I, I need to do better. I, oh, I said, whoa, 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 you are doing what you are doing. Do look at what you have now and then go to the next step. I think that's so important for the young people, especially people here and the children in three years. That will be the best use of your life. You don't have to make a living. You don't have to represent clients and get yelled at. You don't have to get yelled at by the judges, by the clerks, by the, by the law people and your colleagues. Because ultimately, as I said, it's a very lonely and lonely world out there. And law school is really a lot of fun. You're professors helping you nowadays with these reviews that all professors want to be liked. It was so nice talking to you, and I'm so happy to be invited, and thank you so much. I just love this university. And, uh, we just really appreciate Margaret and Cecilia coming back, so we'd like to present them with these certificates from the Centennial Honors College and from the pre law Symposium. <laughs> You know, when they attended, there was no Centennial Honors College, but I guarantee these two would be honor students. So now we're going to honorarily induct them into the Centennial Honors College.